today we will see how to install PTZ Creo 4.0. First go to PTZ Creo site. Here and just scroll down. And I'll scroll down some more. Just click start using Creo. And here it is uh, given for Creo 5.0, but we need a uh, 4.0, and that will be available as a student edition. Just come down, yeah. Are you a student? Just click download and choose in uh, college or university or stu university student. You need to fill up this form. I'm quickly filling up. Okay, now we have registered for our Creo 4.0 student edition and we have given us a PDF file for instructions on how to install this uh, 4.0. Okay, here they have given the link for uh, downloading this DVD image. I am opening this in a new tab. Okay, to download this, we need a customer account at PTC. Just click create a new academic account. I have created it. Okay. Okay, to download this, we need a customer account at PTC. Just click create a new academic account I have created it okay and now logging into my account okay since I am coming here for the first time uh, I need to accept the uh, terms and conditions um, just give a tick at the checkbox and then click continue we need this 4.0 download manager and HTTP. Yes, I'm just using this HTTPS because I don't want a download manager. And then say the file has started to download. This is a very big file, almost 4 GB. So it will take a lot of time to download. And in this video, we have given a step by step instructions of how to install this. Uh, Creo 4.0 even if you don't follow this tutorial you can use this uh, PDF to install Fast forwarding this video so that uh, you don't need to waste your time waiting till the file gets downloaded. Yes, the download is completed. And I'm just clicking show in folder. Okay, I'm just fast forwarding this video so that uh, you don't need to waste your time waiting till the file gets downloaded. Yes, the download is completed. And I'm just clicking show in folder. Okay, here is the downloaded file. Now I need to extract this file. Let's click extract to and then click OK. Okay, this will take um, even more time. And fast forwarding this for you so that you don't need to waste time to just get extracted because it is a very very huge file around 4 GB so 
that's it file is extracted okay here is a folder i'm just clicking setup wait for the setup file to get open here let's just click uh, install this new software uh, so click next and click i accept the software license and use this tick box okay now here in your product code you must copy this product code from here and uh, paste this here and click install licensing okay wait for this to get okay it's asking me so click next And click I accept the software license and use this tick box. Okay, now here in your product code, you must copy this product code from here and uh, paste this here and click install licensing. Okay, wait for this to get. Okay, it's asking me login details. I'm entering my login details and then clicking this login button. You need to wait till the success message gets uh, displayed on the screen. You can wait for a few more seconds. Wait for some more time. here is the success message now just click next okay here you can choose whatever um, applications you need to install from PDZ I'm adding this map cat also we will see this later if you don't want anything from here you can just uh, untick this now I've chosen all possible applications and then click install now see the total size space required is around 6.6 .6 GB so it's going to take a very very long time I will quickly fast forward this here it is the download is completed Here it is, the download is completed. Okay. Now, in desktop, you can see this uh, PDZ Creo Parametric 4.0. This is what we need to open this. I'm just opening this file. And let's see this. Okay, the file is uh, open. Okay, that's it. Successfully, we have uh, installed this PTZ Creo 4.0. In our next videos, we will see how to use this Creo and create the uh, Nemo designs. And again, happy design. Videos, we will see how to use this Creo and create the uh, Nemo designs. Thank <laughs> you.